Richard Southern joins us for our daily biz chat. And Richard, Canada's biggest pot company saw a major boost today. Yeah, its stock really took off uh, after one of its biggest investors, FISA, a uh, company called Constellation Brands, which is known for all sorts of alcohol brands like Robert Mondave Wine and Corona Beer. It installed its chief financial officer as Canopy Growth's new CEO. So Canopy, this pot company getting a new CEO and it's coming out of that alcohol sector. And investors are liking this because this is a stock like many in the cannabis space, which has been beaten down. Earnings have not been good. In fact, uh, uh, Canopy lost more than 600 million in the latest quarter. Analysts at CIBC say in their opinion, this new CEO could draw more interest from institutional investors. Canopy stock up 14% today, FISA. Not enough to help the TSX, which was lower, along with Wall Street, uh, owing to some disappointing economic news out of China. But that was the Monday trade on the markets for you. All right. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Walmart is apologizing after receiving some ugly backlash over one of its Christmas sweaters. Richard, what could go wrong with a Christmas sweater? <laughs> um, this could go wrong. I want to show it to you. This is on sale on its website. Uh, sweater features an image of Santa behind a table with three white lines that... Yeah, what's Santa getting up to? He looks rather happy, doesn't he, Visa? Leave Santa alone. It, it looks like it could be cocaine, uh, obviously, an illicit drug there, and the phrase, let it snow. Uh, Walmart apologizing. However, it points out that this was for sale from a third party on its website, not actually the retailer itself selling it. Still, it apologized. It, pull it pulled it down. And this is actually not the first time this holiday season that a third party seller has gotten a big retailer in trouble. Uh, Amazon just last week uh, pulled down some very distasteful ornaments that showed uh, some content concentration camps on them. So these oh. third-party sellers, I yeah, know, these third-party sellers getting some of the big uh, retailers in trouble, FISA. Why don't they just leave Santa alone? He does not want parts in any of this. He's plenty happy as it is. He doesn't need any illicit drugs, I don't think. Just milk and cookies. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's stick with the Christmas theme. We talked about this on Friday, uh, my dislike of Star Wars, but the latest installment might not be for everyone, Richard, <laughs> including me. No, Disney actually warning that this new movie that comes out next week, the new Star Wars movie, could be dangerous to some people. The oh, movie, no. yes, the movie features a number of sustained light flashing sequence that could trigger seizures for those with certain types of epilepsy. Disney alerting the Epilepsy Foundation about this, which actually praised Disney for doing so, though it hasn't specified exactly what scenes will f feature the flashing lights. Uh, Disney got in some hot water last year for not telling viewers about flashing lights in uh, Pixar's Incredible 2 movie, which did affect some people suffering from epilepsy. So, yeah, you told us on Friday you couldn't tell the difference between a Star Wars and Star Trek, which uh, had the newsroom laughing. Uh, so you're going to have to go and check that movie out uh, next week and try to get those, uh, those two uh, things uh, separate in your head, FISA. I absolutely will go watch both of them. <laughs> I have nothing better to do, so definitely. <laughs> Except getting yelled at by telemarketers. We're going to stay tuned for City News at 6 to get you, see you getting yelled yeah. at again, FISA. Yeah, okay. Good story. Bef Thank you. Yeah, before we go, uh, what's happening at the gas pumps tonight, Richard? No change for gas tonight, and stay tuned. We're back just a little bit after 6.30. Toronto Library out with its most rented books of 2019. We're talking about that and more at 6.30. Okay, we'll talk to you again in the next hour. Thanks, Thank Richard. Thank you.